uh, he uh, used to lead this office. About five years ago, uh, Kevin <coughs> Boyce uh, was a sitting state treasurer, and I ran against him for treasurer state. And he and I had a pretty uh, heated campaign. I ended up winning. He subsequently uh, was appointed to the uh, state legislature. And uh, earlier this year, I'm walking in the state house. Uh, I was with actually uh, a gentleman named David Lillard, who was the state treasurer of Tennessee. It was the same day that we announced this local government transparency initiative. We were walking in the state house. We ran into Kevin. And he and I were just sort of BSing, catching up, hadn't seen each other in a while. And he said, hey, I'm sort of interested in this transparency thing you've got going on. And uh, he said, well, why don't we get together? And so we ended up having coffee at the uh, Sheridan Hotel here on, uh, on Capitol Square. And we were just catching up about my family and his family, and talking about what we were each doing in our respective offices. And he says, hey, did you see that speech I gave on the floor of the State House? And uh, I hadn't seen it. And afterwards, I asked my staff about it. And you can go and you know, watch it on the internet, where Kevin got up on the floor of the House of Representatives and spoke very passionately, very strongly, about this online checkbook initiative. And after he gave that speech, he was telling me, people in his own party came up to him and said, hey, what are you doing? Why would you go up there and talk positively about an initiative that Josh has going on? He's in the other party. And what Kevin said to people in his party was, listen, it doesn't matter the party of the person proposing the idea. It matters is the idea a good idea or a bad idea. And he said, if it's a good idea, I'll be for it. If it's a bad idea, I'm going to be against it. And I said to Kevin that day, I said, you know, we're going to be doing these uh, announcements around the state of Ohio. If you'd like to come, you know, feel free to, uh, to come. Uh, you're one of the leaders now uh, in this cause, having stood on the floor of the state house speaking about it publicly. And so uh, Kevin has ties to the city of Toledo uh, and the community up there because he went to college there. And so when we were going to announce the first school district in the state of Ohio to put their finances online, Toledo Public Schools, I said, hey, you want to take a drive up? And he drove up Route 23. And I stood there with Kevin and Romulus Durant, who's the superintendent of the Toledo Public Schools, announcing the Toledo Public Schools as the first school district in the state of Ohio to commit to putting their finances online. And so when we decided that we were going to launch this uh, initiative this morning, actually uh, launch the first hundred online finances, I called Kevin and said, hey, you know, you've been a big part of this. Will you be there? And he said, I used to think this was a good idea. I still think this is a good idea. And this continues to be a good idea. I'd be glad to be there. And uh, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce him and welcome him back to this office. You know, it's not common that people who ran against each other, who are former campaign rivals, will then stand shoulder to shoulder at a press conference. You think about all the people who run for statewide office here in the state of Ohio, for federal office. Can any of you think of an example of this? Where two people who are beating each other up in a political campaign five years later are standing shoulder to shoulder on a public policy issue, empowering citizens to hold taxpayers accountable. I think this is what the people of Ohio hire us to do, and I'm proud to uh, introduce up to the podium State Representative Kevin Boyce. Thanks. First of all, I'd like to, to thank Treasurer Mandel for the opportunity to be a part of such an important project. Uh, it's true what he said the last time I was here, uh, it was a different treasurer. And all I can say is that I know he was a little better looking than the current treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can figure that out. Right? Um, but the current treasurer has had a tremendous idea. And the idea of opening up our government to the public, to reporters, so that everything that is done is transparent makes for a better and more effective government, and most importantly, a more ethical government. Transparency promotes integrity. Integrity improves ethics. And so the idea that we would put our checkbook online is something that I think will move the needle in terms of the public's confidence in government, even if just a little bit. And as I said on the State House floor, a good idea is simply a good idea. And I'm not one to get all involved in all the political bickering, and I know that 
some of the reporters will want to write about is the rivalry element between Treasurer Mandel and myself. But I can tell you, there really is no rivalry. He's been a treasurer that has opened up his resources to our communities, and now those communities are responding by putting those resources in action for the public. And that, no matter how you slice it, is an excellent idea. I also was a part of the controlling board and where we had the opportunity to look at how the program is being implemented. And it's important for everyone to understand that these are the building blocks to a highly ethical system and a system that shows the greatest amount of integrity when you can simply go online, push a couple of buttons, and be able to look at all of the transactions and all the resources that are occurring in any particular government, whether it's your local municipality, whether it's your local school board, or even the state treasurer's office. And so for that, uh, Treasurer Mandel and his staff, who I know have worked extremely hard to put this project together, should be commended. And then finally, I'd like to commend those school districts, those municipalities, and, and uh, public entities that have stepped forward to be leaders in our state. What you represent and what you are doing is the key to making Ohio as great as it can be. And so this turnout today is a reflection of that throughout our state. And I'm so proud of what you're standing for and, and more importantly, what you're doing by putting those resources available online. Uh, I myself can't wait to look up uh, the city of Bexley and Gehanna, and I'm just teasing, but, but, <laughs> but it's important that we have that ability if we want to. And so uh, for that, I'd like to, to thank uh, the folks who are representing the various municipalities and county governments that are here today, uh, with my, my friend Clarence Mingo here, uh, and, and so many others behind me. Uh, but also I'd like to congratulate and thank Treasurer Mandel uh, for being a leader in this initiative, and I look forward to continuing its implementation and supporting it. Thank you. Thank you.